Well guys, we are here together with my next episode of Fave in Five. This is a pretty new series on my channel. I think I've only done it one time previously. This is where I take five palettes from my collection. I choose my favorite shades from each of those palettes and then I do an eyeshadow look using those shades. So it's kind of like a palette bingo ish except i'm choosing the shades it's a bingo in terms of the palettes i i don't know what i've been doing is simply going through my collection and i just grab the next five now probably every time you see this video my collection might be slightly different <laughs> because i'm always keeping things curated and uh, there are a few new things that came in a few older things that are have gone out etc but as you saw in the beginning of this video these are the palettes that i've got so all three of my cosmic beauty palettes because they are right next to each other in my in my lineup the flare from ace beauté and uh, the wilderness palette age old time tested favorite from beauty bay also i have a palette pull-in project the palette pull-in is where i'm using each of the sh shadows in a palette but i'm doing them in consecutive order so again it brings a bingo-esque quality because it's a little bit unknown this is my shade for today sea nymph um i think it's going to be fine but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch each of my favorite shades in these five palettes, then I'll add Sea Nymph in to the mix and we will figure out a look from there. <laughs> okay, so here's the Flare palette from Ace Pute. I've loved this palette since the beginning. This has been one of my earlier purchases, loved it so much, ended up buying it in the newer, better formulation, and it's just beautiful. It gives amazing looks, really autumnal on the whole, except you do have some really interesting colors thrown into the mix. I think, Oh man, I think that the last time I did Fave in Five, my first video for this series, uh, I got almost all shimmers. And that wasn't necessarily, it's, it's not really planned because it's just a matter of which shade I love the most. And they tend to be shimmers as far as what's really exciting me, but I can't do a look without mattes. Like I have, well I can, but I don't want to. I really want to build the look foundationally with mattes and then the shimmer is icing on top. I do love the Biscotti shade, which is of course a shimmer. But I love the pumpkin shade as well. And Sherber is just so much fun. Oh man, I... I'm gonna go with Sherbert. This one's kind of unique in my collection. It's, it's just as amazing acid green. Not that I don't have it anywhere else, but I mean, I have like Biscotti is kind of a pinky champagne leaning shimmer. I have those elsewhere, but Sherbert, <sighs> just so much fun. So let's swatch that here and then check out the next palette. Winter Wonderland from Cosmic Beauty, Cosmic Brushes, whatever they're going by now. I think they're Cosmic Beauty technically, but they can't change their Instagram handle and stuff where they'd lose all of that following. So anyway, oh, my favorite shade in this palette might be Winter Solstice. Which I think a lot of people might say actually it's such a unique shade it's so pretty it's a multi-chrome which is like a silver based purpley minty green kind of color uh, this one's really beautiful calm is a beautiful mid-tone purple matte atmosphere is basically like peacock feathers in a swatch gorgeous um but I think I'm gonna go with winter solstice that's where we are right now they're really pretty together it, the, the green in this shade is really bringing out the green in here. And it's it's a very versatile shade. I mean, the winter solstice, whatever you put it with, it's going to lean that direction. Really pretty. Now the Muse palette from Cosmic Beauty. Oh, my favorite in this palette. I really like Sweet Pea. I really like Muse. Oh, but Luster is gorgeous too. Oh, I don't know. And you know what? It's so funny because I see some of my favorites in here and I think, oh, they look and work so beautifully with the other things that are in here. I'm just going to swatch on this finger before I decide. This is Luster, Sweet Pea, and Muse. What do they look like? Luster, Sweet Pea, and Muse. Oh, look at Muse. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, they're all so pretty. It's so hard not to be influenced already by what's what I've pulled because it really comes down to not what I've got, but what I am gonna be playing with. You know, palette bingo, where you don't get to choose. I don't know if I'm making sense. I ended up going with Luster. At first I was thinking Sweet Pea, and then I thought, no, no, my favorite shade in the palette. Sweet Pea's calling to me today, but that's not the same as being my favorite shade. Now we have the Serenity palette, and it looks like this. Now I think my favorite in here 
Mm, this one's gorgeous. This one's gorgeous. This one's gorgeous. This one's actually a lot like, mm, it's a lot like this one that I just swatched, only this one's a little bit more of a, dun a dingy green, and this is a bit brighter. This one's amazing. Love this shade right here, ether. And opal's really pretty, but then there's this forest, <sighs> look at that. All right, I'm gonna go with that one, forest. It's, <laughs> oh my goodness, but actually this is a pretty color story, right? How pretty would these three be together? Hmm. Ooh, like a halo eye maybe? All right, I'm gonna go with forest, which is an incredibly deep black based, uh, it's extremely blue green, so I'm gonna say teal but really, really dark and incredibly pigmented as well. That one stained my finger. All right. And now Wilderness, there are actually two. I already know ahead of time. There are two favorites in here. I love Fossil and I love Ray. Ray is a green, gold, white, multi-chrome. It's really lovely. And I think it was kind of ahead of its time because Beauty Bay was doing this Ray shade before all of the other indie brands just <laughs> Well, run of the mill indie brands. All of the other indie brands were exploding with multi-chromes. Ray was ahead of its time and that's always been one of my favorites but I also really love this fossil shade and I think they're a tie. I'm actually going to go with fossil. I just it's just such a good standard go-to like neutral-ish shimmer but it's gorgeous. It's not standard. It's neutral with a twist almost because it's a little dimensional, kind of bronzy, kind of gold. It's over here. Um, very sparkling reflective. I've, I've decluttered all of my Beauty Bay palettes except for Wilderness. These are the shades I'm working with for my fave in five. For today's video, I don't have to bring in my palette pull in, but I'm going to. And it is Sea Nymph from the Lore palette. And I'll swatch that over here. Ooh, that changed things up a bit, right? So it's fave in five plus a sixth. If ever you're curious, everything that I use where possible is linked below in the description box. If it's something that's discontinued, then I will at least mention it if I'm unable to link it. All right, I have a plan, but first I need to put something on my lips. This is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. What shade is this? It looks like this, it's just a light bubblegum sort of pink. It's called Pink Quartz. It's allergy season. My allergies are actively trying to kill me, but also um, I'm just blowing my nose a lot, which makes my lips super, super dry. Okay, I am starting in the Flare palette with the shade Sherbert, and I'm gonna put this in my whole crease. This is the part at which you guys write in the comments, Rachel, Rachel, it doesn't match your shirt. It's gonna look awful. And then I agree with you, but hope for the best. How are you guys doing? I have made a couple videos in the past few days, which have been less than upbeat because there's a lot going on in my family. Well, okay. There's a lot going on with one person in my family and then we also lost my husband's grandfather two days ago. So that's what I mean. But I'd love to know how you guys are doing because it's not all about me. This is not the Rachel show. I mean, it's my channel, but it's about eyeshadow and I guess it's partly the Rachel show. <laughs> oh man. No, seriously though. Do tell me how you're doing. I'd like to know what you guys are up to. We've had a really busy week. Um, usually we just have a busy Thursday when we go to homeschool group, but this week we've had an acti activity out of the house at least an hour away every day of the week except for Tuesday. And my kids really need a regular day so they can nap regularly. <laughs> Okay, now that that is down, and that's really my foundation um, transition color, so I made sure that I was creating the shape I wanted. Now I'm going to deepen it with the Serenity palette in the shade Forest. That's such a deep color. It really does make me think of the depths of the forest, where everything's shaded and very little sunlight peeks through. It's dark such a deep, rich, and fully saturated kind of color. I have a napkin on my lap that I use for eyeshadow, and 
when I don't, when I want to make sure that my brush doesn't have any more product, I just rub it onto the napkin. You can use a color switch. Sigma makes a color switch. I'm sure lots of other places do as well. I used to have two actually of those color switches that were in the tins and they're the circular uh, sponges or scrubbers basically. Those were fine except that over time they get totally worn out and you end up with tiny little spongy scrubber bits on all of your stuff and in your in the bristles of your brushes and they just they just they wear up. They they break down. And so I thought, well, hey, I have some napkins that are stained from my last, uh, the washing machine in our apartment used to actually stain clothes, super helpful. And so I just repurposed one of those napkins because they're cloth napkins and nobody wants to wipe their mouth with a stained napkin. Okay, that's intense. And you can see, it, look, it took very little effort. Now we're gonna go into Wonderland, Winter Wonderland, and I'm going to use my finger to pick up, I said solstice, right? I'm looking at my hand. Picking up winter solstice and putting this, starting at my inner corner. I'm just curious how that would grab with a brush. Let me use a brush. I almost always, for a long time now, I've been applying most shimmers with my fingers. Um... I don't know, I just, I think generally they perform better. That one's nice with a brush though. But I did get some fallout, but I also went in pretty hard. <laughs> I put this in my inner corner because I knew that it was light enough to work over here and because I have a plan for the next shade, which needs a bit of real estate. So I'm not gonna bother meeting this shimmer to the mats, I'm just laying it down if I wanted to, I could spray it, but I think it's performing beautifully. Can you guys see the shift in camera? Gold, blue, green. It's a lot of green on my hand right now with this color. Ooh, it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna grab Fossil from Wilderness and pick that up. This one picks up beautifully with a brush and I'll lay that down right here between the shimmer I just put down, and my foundational mattes. It's interesting because the shade that is the fossil color is actually one of the shifts in the Winter Wonderland, summer, uh, Winter Solstice, whatever it's called. So I feel like you're going with like shifty, shifty over into, okay, now we're just like a gold bronze. And I wanna go back into my, the smaller brush that I used for that darkest matte, and there's no new product on the brush, I'm just, easing the transition a bit from one formula into the next by tapping. So far, so good. So I've used one, two, three, four. I've still got two shades to use. I'm gonna do the lower lash line first with my palette pulling. I'm gonna take a small blending brush and dip into that one. There's no mirror in that palette. So laying this on my inner lower lash line. Really lightly. What a beautiful color. I need to go back into, what shade was it? Um, Serenity. And the forest color that I was using, which is the dark, dark green matte. And I'm starting this in my outer corner where it already is. And I'm dragging it over to meet Sea Nymph. And then when they hit, I'm just rubbing back and forth to merge them together smoothly. Sea Nymph really pulled out the blue in the forest shade, whereas up here, these greeny yellowy tones really pulled out the green. It's a true teal. Sea Nymph is more turquoise, but it's pretty. It is pretty. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. And now I'm going into, what did I say, Luster? Luster or Muse? Oh wait, which one was it? Luster, I think I said Luster. Um, on the same blending brush, I'm just sort of rummaging down into the shadow and I'm gonna spray this one. Okay, now here is Luster as my inner corner highlight. I'm just tapping it into place here. Wherever I need to, I'll merge it with the other shadows that are, in, that are laid down 
I don't really need to except maybe a little bit of this blue. And that's it. I think I'll probably also use that luster shade for a face highlight. Hmm, look at how it cooled things off. Oh, okay, this is cool, right? Does it work with my shirt? Ish. And here we go. In my waterline, I used Crystal Crush from ColourPop. It's a beautiful, vibrant pool blue. So pretty. I do have mascara on, and I, I did end up using the luster shade in Muse for a face highlight. And that's everything. That is everything. Everything, as usual, will be linked in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed this video and today's look. I actually think it's gorgeous. I think the look is so, so beautiful. And I love that we've, we're playing with temperatures. Warm tones up here, cool tones down here, a little pop of like, what is this? Is it purple? Is it blue? Is it white at the inner corner? But it plays so nicely into this blue here, which plays so nicely into the teal out here, which plays so nicely into the teal up here. And then we're shifting like cool into intermediate, into warm, into quite warm. And I just, I love how everything is playing together. I think it's really pretty. And especially because I was just planning on using the five shades and then I thought, well, hey, why don't I use my palette pull-in? Now we have six shades on the lids and I think that they look great. I'd love to hear your thoughts as usual. Thank you so much for being here today. And do let me know in the comments what you did to finish off your summer. Did you guys do anything fun? Did you go somewhere with your family? Or maybe even just to start the fall, what have you done? Like we went to a pumpkin patch yesterday and like a local event uh, earlier this week and then today we had kind of a fall co-op sort of day. We actually went to see a hot air balloon today. It was too windy to get the balloon up in the sky but we were able to, like the kids could see it all stretched out in the parking lot and then they sat on it and helped the balloonist to put it all away and then they got to, to be in the basket. It was fun. It was a fun day. It's a great start to the fall. It's so nice to be outside enjoying the weather. We live in a place that's really really hot in the summertime and I do not like the heat. So I am relishing this beautiful, glorious, crisp weather. We actually want to be outside and it's lovely. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing to mark the bee, the end of summer, beginning of the school year, all of that stuff. So I hope you're doing well. Talk to me in the comments. I'd love to chat with you. Perhaps you'll consider liking and subscribing before you go. If you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more like it, I will also link my, fa link my fave in five playlist in the description box along with other recommendations, suggestions, etc. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.